Hi, in today's video we're going to be making this outfit table for my table saw Rage 5S. Check out the video. To start off the project, first of all, first thing we need to do is to actually take off this rail. Underneath the rail you've got a solid base part of the uh, table itself that we need to pre-drill three holes so we can actually attach our um, fittings there. But uh, yeah, let's take this aluminium profile off. And as you remove the profile, you can see that there is actually already one hole there. So we just need to mark up and pre-drill two more holes. Now, yes, you do need to pre-drill um, some holes in your table saw. So if you're not up for it, if you don't want to do it, unfortunately, you probably won't be able to tackle this project with me. Just making sure that the bolts um, go through with ease. Okay, so this project is more or less a scrap project. So whatever I had lying about in my workshop, that's what I'm going to use. And in this case, I'm just using this um, off cut off piece, um, a chipboard. It's a melamine covered chipboard and I'm just cutting it to the right sizes uh, so it will fit the slot on the table saw. On my bandsaw, I'm actually cutting out two notches, as you can see. Uh, basically on the table itself, you, you do have some brackets or some sorts um, that are on the table itself and you, we just need to make space for them. Now please let me know down below in the comments if you want to tackle this project and you would like a cutlass of some sort, let me know and I'll try to uh, make a full cutlass for you in SketchUp so you can uh, you know, more or less copy what I did in this project. As you can see I just pre-drilled some holes for the bolts and I'm just installing that on my table saw. Again it should give us a very nice and strong connection and when you secure the bolts and everything uh, you can put the aluminium profile back on and as you can see it's not in the way of anything. Okay the next thing we need to do is to have some sort of a solid base for our project. Okay, and in my case, I found in my workshop um, a plywood sheet. It's actually a sandwich of two sheets of 18 millimeters, and it will be absolute perfect thickness for this project. And I'm just going to attach it to that um, chipboard that we already installed on the table. So I think three bolts will be absolutely fine. Now I will be using these hex drive head nuts to actually attach it to. It's just the simplest way to do it. And it will give me a really nice and strong connection. So the holes that we pre-drilled, I'm just using a larger drill bit to accommodate the hex drive head nuts. Um, really simple and easy process and it will allow me to disassemble the whole thing uh, very quickly and easy. I'm just countersinking the holes that we already pre-drilled so the bolts are not sticking out and as you can see I'm just driving the bolts through to secure the whole thing together. Okay, now I'm just pre-drilling some mounting holes for the foldable brackets I'm going to use to attach uh, the outfit table itself. It's a dead simple, really cheap solution to this project. And I'm going to try to find something similar on Amazon for you guys. And I'm going to drop some links down below in the description of this video. It wasn't too expensive at all. And it's just such an easy solution to use for this project. Okay, I do have one issue with this setup at the moment. It definitely there's too much of a wobble from the back. There's not enough support at the back, but we can very easily sort that out. What I've done, I've got a piece of um, ash and basically I'm just going to install it behind this um, plywood plate that we made. 
uh, it will rest on the body of the machine at the back okay it's not a perfect solution however it will do the job just fine and it will give enough stability um, to the whole table and it will give plenty of support for your workpiece that will go on top of it so um, in my eyes you know if it works uh, then it's just fine and now it's time to attach the top to the brackets again i'm using whatever i've got is a chipboard laminated chipboard i think it was from some sort of a shelving unit uh, my parents used to have um, so yeah i'm just scratching and searching for materials i can reuse as you know everything is so so expensive if you can afford plywood go for that if not try to find something that um, you know is lying about in your workshop and let's have a look if it actually does the job correctly i'm um, just you know cutting through a um, piece of pine and let's have a look perfect exactly what i needed in my workshop a lot safer way to operate my table saw you know and saving a lot of space in your workshop so yeah for me it works brilliantly well guys i am really happy to report that it works it falls away falls back up when you need it holds the pieces supports your workflow and it just gives you that bit more safety when you operate the whole machine. And you don't need another outfit table specially built for it that you know you probably won't have space for it in your garage. Simple solution, probably, yeah, it's gonna struggle with those really long pieces that are, I don't know, two meters long, but still it gives you that bit more stability at the end, bit more support, and it will be easier to manage those really long boards. But it's one of those upgrades I really wanted to do and to have with my table saw as it just increased the safety and how I operate the machine. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me that like button down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as there's plenty more cool content coming in the future. However, for today, guys, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Take care.